Oh, yo, 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 hippie soul in the building, man. What's good, yo? What's good? That's good. Help me, help me, guys. You know what, guys? I need you to help me to get to a thousand subscribers and more so that I can start doing live streams. You know? This is the second time that I pay for this. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Help hippie soul in the building because. I want to help you guys, you understand? I want to help everybody, you know? I mean, it depends what kind of help you want. <laughs> but if it's something about esoteric information or spiritual information, then you're on the right channel. You're on the right frequency, you understand? And you're about to get more frequencies, you know, on a frequent basis. You understand? So like on this video first I'm gonna start by having a little banana banana whatever you wanna call it you understand because I'm hungry as fuck but yeah so yeah hit this all in the bell you know welcome to my video man welcome to my channel on this video though we're gonna talk about like this is an interesting topic guys you have to understand that so this is what we're gonna talk about in this video because it relates to what has happened you know recently and like this year specifically 2020 it's, it's, it's a year of, like, there's a lot of predictions uh, that have been made about this year. I understand. So, being that the case, a lot of predictions that have been made about 2020, a lot of them was made, like, four years back to eight years back. I understand. <clears throat> so, the most recent prediction that was made, right? It was about like Kobe Bryant's death, you understand? So, there was like a cartoon. I'm sure a lot of you already know where I'm going, you understand? So, like, I'll also share the link to that video there over the I mean, on the description of this one i'll post the link to the other video that i'm talking about you know that was predicting that uh kobe Bryant's death you understand so so basically this is what happens this is the topic right why certain events like why we are able to predict certain events or why actually not we why are certain events being predicted period you understand because say for example we all know that you we, we all gonna die right but nobody has predicted your death you understand so like why is there certain people who come across these situations you know whereby their life and death was predicted and it happens however it was predicted you understand like it could be 10 years ago that when that thing was predicted or it could be a minute ago so like at the end of the day it was predicted before it happens you understand so there has to be an explanation by default you know there has to be an explanation so now i came i came with the explanation right so since you know you know i'm, I'm esoteric i'm spiritual whatever you want to call it you know so the information that i'm sharing it's not just something that we can agree upon, all of us, you know. But you can feel what I'm saying. You understand? That's what I'm going to tell you. So, like, esoteric is information or knowledge that is passed down from spirits, from one spirit to another, you know. And history is information that is passed down from one man to another. Esoteric knowledge is information that is passed from one spirit to another, one soul to another. You understand? So that's esoteric information. 
knowledge that is passed down from one spirit to the other. So when you come to the spiritual world, that's the information that you get, right? You receive information. That is, it's like you, you are having a conversation with the universe and it tells you all of these things so that you can come to a realization of whatever that you are asking for. You understand? So that you can actually realize it for what it is. Not to know that it's good for you or not good for you or if it's true or not true. Just for exactly what it is. That's esoteric information. It helps you to drill through the bullshit so that you can see whatever that you want to see. You understand? Or know whatever that you want to see without all the other extra shit blinding you. You understand? So like... The reason now, I, like, I'm gonna make this video short because I'm trying to, I'm trying to roll up right now. You understand? So, like, the reason why certain predictions are made, period, is because, like, you can go around and like try to find other reasons, right? But I want you to go and find all the reasons that you can, and then once you run out of reasons to find, right, come back to this reason that I'm gonna give you right now. You understand and tell me if I'm lying go to my comment box and tell me if I'm lying you understand because you have to understand that there's there's something that happens right in life whereby there are, there's knowledge that you know you know that you know by by nature by like based upon your alignment with the universe you get this certain knowledge you understand and there is a knowledge that you get when you consciously align yourself with the universe. You understand? So, like, when you predict something, right, you can use these two methods, right? Aligning with the universe consciously or using that alignment that you already have with the universe, right? As an attribute, you understand? So, Say, for example, if I was to predict something about myself, right? I don't have to think about myself. I don't have to think about myself. I can actually take the alignment that is already there, right? Which is astrology, right? You have to understand, like, this is where I'm going, basically. So I'm just going to cut all the extra bullshit because I'm probably going to lose a lot of you. You understand? So... This is what happens. These people, people that, let me, let me make it clear and I will never again, probably not never again, but I will, I won't explain it like better than I've, I'm going to explain it right now. You understand? So this is what happens. <clears throat> people who make movies, who make series, who make series, whatever. Who make like everything that you're gonna see as entertainment the people who make those things right the people who who create those things who write those scripts who who take those pictures who draw those things that end up being a prediction you understand that, that like that it doesn't even end up being a prediction when they write it down, it's already a prediction. You understand? So, these people are much more into astrology than the rest of us. That's why they can predict everything. You understand? So, the, the wrong misconception that we have as humans is that every time there's a prediction, right, about life in general or anything else, every time there's a prediction, people are going to say like, things like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, the Illuminati cult. You understand? Is the Illuminati cult is you know everything that happens and it was predicted before people are gonna tie it to Illuminati they are gonna tie it to like damn you shit you know that like demonic shit they're gonna tie it to all of that so like you have to understand that like people by default are driven towards that side you understand like maybe because of uh, the people that run this this system you understand actual people not spirits I'm talking about actual people 
they brainwashed us so much, you know. But I won't blame anybody because I was able to come out of that brainwash, you know. So why won't you be able to? What's what's wrong with you? You know, what's the difference between me and you? Because I'm just a regular ass person like you, you know. I'm just doing my thing every day, like you. So like it's not about me. Again, going back to our topic, right? Why certain predictions are being made? Like you have to understand that not every prediction that these people make are gonna be true. You understand? Or it's gonna play out how we think it's gonna play out, or however they say. It, you understand? Some of them they are gonna play out in a much more different way physically, but like the energies are the very same energies. You understand? It's still the very same energies doing the very same thing, just that in a different let me say incarnation you know with different individuals and different experiences but same energy same energy same frequency same vibration you understand so like the reason because i'm about to dip now out of this thing you know i'm about to like stop recording so like this is just the main point of this video the reason why these people can predict anything is because of they are much more into astrology more than each and every one of us can imagine you understand like they might not know how to uh, read their astrological things but what they can do is they can give people who know how to read these things money so that they, they can do these predictions for them and then then what they do is that like they just make movies they make Anything that's going to entertain us or influence us based upon those things. You understand? Based upon those things. So, you have to understand that, like, that, that's how it goes, you know. These people are into astrology. And not only astrology, but soul-centered astrology. You understand? So, they can tell pretty much even what the future is going to be like. It might not play out exactly how they say it. But it's gonna be exactly how they say. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, energetically, it's gonna feel the same. But how it's playing out, it might be different. We might be blinded by how different it is. Understand? And we think that it's a different situation. But if you can look at it back, it's still the same lesson. Just just tie it in that sense, you know? Just look at the lessons that you have to learn. You understand? And tie it to those lessons. Maybe if you can tie it to those lessons, then it can make sense. You know but like that's how it is you know guys they just look at say maybe for example they want to make a movie about like somebody somebody was passed on right keep his soul in the building man i'll see you on part two man this is part one it's just cut cut off because you know storage low whatever whatever keep his soul in the building man see you on the next one part two yeah 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 why certain events are being able to be predicted right why certain events are being predicted and they actually come into reality why is it so so that's part two that's what i'm gonna talk about on the part two you understand so like yo yo he's all in the building man see you on the next wow